Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the, who ate all the, who ate all the pies? Me. Plant-based face-off, holla! Guys, no surprise, it's pies this week on Plant-Based Face-Off, and we have got a treat for you this week. Three different fake meat pies. First off, Linda McCartney has hit us with the big vegetarian country pies. Now, if you look at the picture here, you can see she's gone with a bit of fake meat in there. Um, it looks good on the picture, not gonna lie, she's done a good job. Next up, it is Pucker's Pucker Pie. We all know about Pucker, and now they've done a vegan version of their minced steak and onion. Doesn't look too bad, does it? And third up, word up to Plant Pioneers. They've come in with their very own no steak pies. Don't look too bad themselves, do they? Let's find out which is best. First up, it's Linda McCartney's Vegetarian Country Pies. To cook it up, you add a little bit of plant-based milk on top, just to give it that nice glaze. Keep it in the foil. It did rise a bit in the oven, and takes about half an hour to cook. But how does it taste? Oh, it smells just like a, oh, you know, a gravy you get in meat pies. The pastry is just normal. The contents could do with a bit of work, if I'm brutally honest. It smells spot on, but there's not the taste to back up the smell. And I'm all about taste that backs up the smell. Next up, it's a pucker pie, mate. A pucker pie. I got quite a rise out of this, a lot like my little brother, actually. All you do is whack it straight in the oven, in the foil, and now, I can do the grand removing. Bit of spillage in the village there. Pucker are thorough, aren't they? They've put their own logo embossed in the casing, nice. It's good, it's a strong pastry, it's just like normal. On the inside, there is a bit more of a flavor, but still, it's not right. It's not the same, it's not the sort of meaty, even the gravy doesn't taste just like a normal meat pie, which is a bit disappointing. And lastly, it is the Plant Pioneers pie, the smallest of the three pies today. Again, with this one, you just whack it in, in its casing. Now on the outside, the pastry in the bottom does look a bit anemic, if I'm honest. Great crunch to the top of the pie though, and very, very gravy. -y. Now this is being called the no steak pie. So I think it's trying to say that it's like steak, but it ain't steak. But the bits actually inside the pie look more like they're imitating chicken, to be honest. The pastry on this, it's all good. Again, all three have nailed the pastry, no dramas. Even though it's not really like steak, the gravy or the sauce in here, it's just that bit nicer. Again, not groundbreaking. I haven't been madly impressed by any of these. So, in summary, it's not been the best plant-based face-off this one, I'm not gonna lie. None of them convinced me it was meat, and none of them convinced me they were particularly that nice. But after reviewing them, having a very, very thorough think about it, I can reveal the winner of this week's plant-based face-off. Pies is Plant Pioneers. Basically, it comes down to taste. It tasted the best. All three nailed the pastry. All three looked vaguely like meat, but what was good about the Plant Pioneers was you had actual chunks, thick chunks of fake meat, whether it was like steak or not, irrelevant at this point. It also had quite thick chunks of onion, unlike the other two. There was more of the sort of gravy sauce in there. It was the best of the three. Hope you enjoyed Pies Week, guys. As ever, throw me your suggestions all the time. I need them, I need them, I feed on them. Send them through to me and catch you in the next one.